This video is going to look at the uh, different characteristics of living organisms. And we can remember these by uh, thinking about the mnemonic, Mrs. Gren. Where the M stands for movement, R for respiration, S for sensitivity, G for growth, R for reproduction, E for excretion, and N for nutrition. We're going to now look through those different characteristics um, one by one. And the first one we're going to look at is movement. And movement can be a change in place, so moving from A to B. It can also be a change in a particular place and a change in position. Um, so they stay in the same place, but they move, so they change their position. Um, it can mean the whole um, organism can move, or part of the organism might be able to move. Respiration is the breakdown of biological molecules releasing energy from metabolic processes, um, normally in the presence of oxygen, normally um, using mitochondria, at least in eukaryotic cells, so in um, plants, fungi, protoctis, and animals, not in bacteria. Sensitivity is being able to react to a stimulus, so a response to a stimulus. A stimulus is any change in the environment, it can be an external change or an internal change. Um, and then how the body responds to it is a, and the, the way that's coordinated is called sensitivity. The next characteristic is growth, and growth can be a change in the size of cells, so the cells getting larger, say for example after division, or it can be a division, so you can have a change in the number of cells, and you can also have a, co and you will generally have a combination of both. So a human starts off as a single fertilized egg cell. By the time they're adults, we're talking trillions of different cells, um, and all those cells will have, and your total mass has increased as well. So both the cell number of cells have increased, and the size of those cells after they've divided has increased as well. The fifth characteristic is reproduction, and reproduction is the production of new organisms from the existing generation. This can be through uh, sexual reproduction, where there's two individuals that combine to make a new generation, which is uh, more varied, or can be by asexual reproduction, where an existing um, organism clones itself, so you get an um, in the, uh, offspring that has the same genetic material as the parent. Um, excretion is getting rid of waste materials, um, things uh, so as a result of metabolism, you produce waste, that waste needs to be removed because it can become toxic. Um, examples in, in the human body, which is the one you focus on most in this particular course, um, include carbon dioxide, which goes out for the lungs, and um, urea, which is broken down proteins, which get excreted through the urine, uh, pass it, be filtered out through the kidneys. The final one is nutrition, and nutrition is how the um, organism gets its raw materials to make um, new cells and to carry out its metabolic processes. Um, Producers um, use photosynthesis and um, get minerals from the soil, so in the case of plants or water, in the case of waterborne plants or algae. Um, um, consumers like us get them through eating producers and other consumers. And that's, those are the different characteristics of all living organisms. If it doesn't have these characteristics, it's not a living organism.